Splitting the bill on the first date. Sorry guys, but I do not agree with this. I think on the first three dates, the guy should pay. It's very kind for women to be polite and gesture, but I would under no circumstances expect the guy to accept that offer and go, yeah, okay, fine. Ooh. Now, going on a date with someone who reminds you of your ex is really, really, really common. It's actually more common than you think. So, I'm not saying it's, it's always a hello, but I'm saying that most of us have got a predisposed type. We often go for someone who reminds us of either our ex or our father, believe it or not. <laughs> Goodbye. Absolutely not. This day and age, we as women should be more empowered and more impassioned to feel that we can actually approach a guy and let them know that we're interested. Why do we always have to wait for them? Taking things to the next level with a friend is a tricky area, but it's not an out of bounds area. Any great relationships built on friendship first. If you ever confess to once fancying someone's best friend, hats off to you, okay? Don't do it, just don't do it. Keep it to yourself. Some things you do not need to tell anybody. Ghosting someone, the bane of my life, okay? Under no circumstances should we put up with ghosting. At least you got them out of your life now. You don't have to waste three years going, oh my God, are they gonna stick around? And then have palpitations and anxiety because of it. Sorry, if a guy's gonna ghost you now, at least you know he's not right. Get rid, get rid, move on, move on. Brilliant, <laughs> learning a lot.